Hi guys, welcome to another video from Car Help For You. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove the speedo meter from a 2009 plate Nissan Micra. This is a mid-range shape, however if your instrument cluster does, like th does look like this and the years are either older or younger, it will still work. Just make sure that your speedo meter in there is the exact same as the one I'm showing. So first of all what you need to do is get a thin screwdriver and just pop this up here. This will be laid down into a sheet like that and there's a little thin line, just pop it up, make sure you've got something so you don't scratch the plastics. Once that is done, what you can do then is come towards the ignition barrel and put a thin screwdriver in here and this will just twist off. Um, I have actually already loosened everything in the car, I've just put it back to show you for video purposes. So if I put that down there, you can see mine's already pretty loose, but before you can loosen this off, there's a screw here which we'll need doing. I'm not sure if the camera can see it clearly. And then there's also two screws on the other side. One's there and one's there. So they're both Phillips screwdrivers. Once they're done, um, you can just pull it out of place. And as you see, I just put a little bit of pressure on it. It does come straight out. After that, you can come towards the top. What you might want to do is lower the steering wheel so you've got easy access. Um, you also want to make sure you've either push the steering down or you've got the key in there and the steering the steering lock is loose so this lock down here it is there if we loosen that off you can see the steering wheel just move freely however I like it down so it's easier for me to do it so once that's in there this part obviously has been unscrewed it is a little bit fidgety as it is very tight so you just got to put a bit of pressure on it and it will come out as you can see that's now came out <clears throat> what we would then do is We'd get a thin plate screwdriver and we'd just put the prongs in it there and there and there and just work our way all the way around. Once you are all the way around you will notice that it just loosen off a bit. It has got clips on the back of it so it won't exactly be easy. But as you can see I've already got that out. So now we've basically got straight to the instrument cluster. If we can, if I can just get the camera there so I can show you where the prongs are. Extremely sorry about the camera quality. Going to be a little screw about there. And there's also going to be another one on the other side. It's going to be on the exact opposite side. So once you've got them two unscrewed, the speedometer still won't move because there's one more screw which is on top. And I've already removed it, but it's going to be there where my finger is. So you can unscrew that. Obviously, this won't go properly unless you want to remove it. However, in this case, all I've done was just used a socket wrench, like that, had a Phillips piece in the end, and just did it like that. It was pretty easy. Once you've done that, you want to put one hand in the back of the cluster and one towards the front of the cluster. Once again, I apologise about the quality. You would then pull the clip down a bit, which I'll show you what I mean. But basically, once you've unclipped it at the back, the speedometer won't just come out freely. As you can see, mine's coming out pretty simple because I've had it out. But before the first time we were taking it out, had a lot of struggle on it. If we go to the clip, I'll explain what I mean. If you see on the clip there, the camera quality once again isn't the best. But it does have one of those type of things. The way I done this was basically I got the thin plate screwdriver. I got the thin screwdriver and I just pressed it against the top so I went in through the top so basically I was in through there with my hands uh, with one hand sorry and with the other hand I was just fidgeting down here and trying to push it back and I got it out it isn't long yours might be longer and if it is longer it's just a bonus but this one wasn't long so I had to do it like that the method for putting it back in is the exact same as taking it out try to avoid scratches so the plastic doesn't get damaged as it's hard to repair but for any questions, just put them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer. Sorry about the camera quality and please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.